Hey, welcome back, guys. This is the Pest and Lawn Ginger, and this is another episode of This Is My Lawn. Let's go check it out. So for our lawn update this week, we've had a few wins, we've had a couple of setbacks, but hey, that's all part of having a lawn and we know that this is going to be a process. So this week, I feel like we've uh, we've had a, a few gains here. You can see the splashiness of the color, which means that the iron is starting to chelate due to those micros and the mycorrhiza that we put down last week. I'm really happy to see that a lot of this grass is starting to thicken up like bluegrass should. It should be that nice thick blades. Now, a lot of the lawn's not catching up. Um, I attribute this to the overwatering I had to do. And that's something that I'm gonna work on today is really getting it out of its funk. So this week uh, on my lawn, we had some wins and we had some setback. The wins are a lot of the products that we put down, they're working. The mycorrhiza is coming out uh, and it's helping pull in nutrients. And you can tell by the splotchiness of the lawn, the nutrients are going through. Now the biggest drawback is the grass here, it's not growing. The backyard, no problems with the grass growing. As you can see here, my bluegrass in the backyard, it's growing and it's growing fast. Now we didn't have the same drought stress in the backyard just due to the shade as much as we did the front yard. So another issue I wanted to point out is that it looks like the tips of the blades of the grass are just being torn. Uh, this is most commonly by a lawnmower. Uh, blade issue. So we're going to go check that out to see if we need to sharpen the blades. So it's been my experience that clouded cover can oftentimes be uh, lawnmower blades that just aren't sharp. So I really wanted to take a look at that this week and see what we can find. All right. Well, there's your sign. These are pretty bad. <laughs> um, these are so notched out. I don't even know what to do at this point. Uh, but it looks like I'm just going to have to replace these. Um, yeah, could I sharpen them? I, I could, but the problem is, is I like to machine sharpen these and the machine would have to grind both of these down. It's going to be a bigger pain in the butt. They're going to charge me extra money and I could probably pick up a set of new blades for like 30 bucks would be my guess. I went down to my local hardware shop and it looks like I got lucky. They had the blades in stock. You got to love YouTube. So I found out that a little bit of a block of wood just placed in front of the blade. I'm gonna torque this off with a 14 millimeter wrench. Got it. Hey, so easy, a ginger could do it. Wanted to show you guys how bad these blades were. Seriously, it looks like somebody uh, rolled these out in a gravel pit to see if they could cut the gravel. <laughs> no wonder my grass is looking so crappy. Freshly mowed and it feels so good. Starting to come in, you can see I got rid of that top layer and the color's now starting to pop. Now, there just wasn't a lot of grass clippings, so we gotta fix that. So I mowed about 2,500 square feet of grass, and this is all I got. Now there's a couple of things I want you guys to pay attention to. We changed out the blades, and before it looked like a bunch of shredded material, and now you can see the clippings. They're cutting really nicely. I'm pretty happy about that, but we have no growth. So the goal this week is going to be to get the lawn to start growing again, get it out of its funk. We know the funk happened when I had to overwater everything and we were watering daily. And that's one of the biggest drawbacks is you can cause fungal activity and you can throw the lawn into shock by overwatering as well. Say hello to one of my best friends, Mr. Nitro King. Uh, I like him because he's ammonium nitrate. I use this as a tool for quick growth. When a lawn gets in a funk, ammonium nitrate is your friend. 
So I love this label. Uh, they make it pretty easy for us. We need to know how many pounds of nitroking that we want to apply per thousand. Now it says here to get to a pound we need 4.76. A pound is a bit much with how hot it's been. We're, we're in the mid 90s um, and it could spike to the hundred. So I want to stay safe at the 0.75 pounds. So we know that we need 3.57 pounds per thousand. Our next goal is to figure out what 3.57 pounds of Nitro King looks like. So we're gonna open up this fresh bag here. Um, a lot of you guys are probably wondering why it looks like garbage. Well, the ginger has a method to his madness. If you ask for open bags or broken bags, they usually give you a discount um, and it's usually enough to make you wanna buy it. Um, so you can save some money this way. I do this quite often because guess what? Fertilizer fertilizer, whether it comes in a broken bag or a new bag, doesn't really matter. So I want to figure out how we can get 3.57 pounds of nitroking inside the spiker spreader. So we're going to fill it to the top just to see what reality is. And that's per thousand square feet. If you guys don't know what a thousand square feet looks like, get a measuring tape. Uh, 20 feet by 50 feet is a thousand square feet or you can make whatever shape you want but you need to be familiar with a thousand square feet looks like so I want to fill this to the top and then let's go ahead and put it in Woo! four pounds so let's figure out what three five looks like take some of this out nope oh, I'm not gonna win this battle so we'll just quit there three five six anyway put it back in my spreader Even this off at the top so you guys can see it you can see just below the brim here that's exactly 3.57 pounds per thousand fast forward four days and here we are I'm pretty happy with my results uh, changing the blades on the mower has really helped out um, the grass has started to grow and you can see I'm not getting a lot of that uh, tip scalp like I was before. I'm still not satisfied with the mow height. Uh, I may just have to get a different mower to allow me to cut it higher. Um, but this patch in particular is the one that we looked at before, right here. And the color is now evened out around this patch. So use of the Nitro King has really helped out. All right, guys, wrapping up another episode of This Is My Lawn. I hope this is helping out. If you guys have any suggestions, please hit me up in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe it. And just remember, sharing is caring. See you until the next time, guys.